Welcome, welcome. We're going to do a speed run on how to mod PAL World, both single player and as a dedicated server. You're going to want to go and download UE4SS. I'll have the link in the description. Once you're on this page, go over here to releases and click on the latest release. Then scroll down. And you're going to want to click the X input version. Go ahead and download that zip. Now go to Steam, right click on PAL World, go to Manage. Browse local files, and you want to go to PAL, then binaries, then Win64. Now open up the file you downloaded, drag X input, the settings, and the mods folder over into Win64, and then any mods you install will simply go into the mods folder. Now for pack mods, you want to do the same thing. Right click Steam, manage, browse local files, then go to PAL, content, packs and simply drop the pack in here. For self-hosted or dedicated servers, it's a little bit more involved. The first thing you're going to do is go to the two links in the description and go to the server injector, click release, assets, and then download the zip. Now also open up the drive link and click download. Click download anyway and save. This is what's actually in the bat folder. It simply deletes the server cache and then launches the server injector. Now you want to open up Steam, right click, manage, Browse local files, now go to PAL, then binaries, then Win64. Open up the server injector we just downloaded and simply drag and drop all of this into Win64. Now take the bat folder and drag it into the same folder. And now anytime you want to launch your server, simply launch it with the bat. You might need to click more info and run anyway. And if you want to make it easier to start the server, simply right click the bat file Go to Show More Options, and down at the bottom, click Create Shortcut. Grab the shortcut and drag it to your desktop, and you can start the server from this shortcut. And there you go. If you found this helpful, please drop a like, comment, or subscribe.